morning. Uh, it's 9.30. Uh, maybe due to the traffic jam, some of the uh, audience still on the way. So that uh, because the time is uh, limited, so that we would like to start our panel discussion, uh, our section right now. So today we are very honored to have a free distinguished speaker so as to share with us how their company would like to incorporate the social good into their business strategies. Because uh, nowadays, you know that uh, uh, we are talking about social uh, enterprises uh, in Hong Kong maybe more than 10 years ago. But during the past 10 years, we can see that the development, uh, maybe we can say that it's pretty good. But I think we, the, the forces that we can create an impact to the society is limited, especially to the eyes of the, some of the businessmen. So the reasons why, because although most of the enterprises, social enterprises, they have a very good passion, maybe they are lacking of some of the business uh, network experiences. So in this case, we find that a lot of the educator, government support, and also from the uh, some kind of the just like social enterprises submit some kinds of the uh, you know organization is put a lot of the efforts but business sectors seems to be a little bit left behind but a uh, few years ago we are trying to uh, introduce some of the new concept in order to introduce the corporation in Hong Kong in saying that businesses is the greatest forces for the social good. So a few years ago, we are introducing the uh, creating share value, one of the concepts which are introduced by the Michael Porter from the Harvard Business School. Uh, it means that nowadays, uh, we are not only striving for the profit maximization for being a corporation, but we need to, we need to take care about the stakeholders. We need to take care about our employees, our society, our suppliers, as well as the of course, our planet, okay? So, let, later on, last year, we incorporated one of the new concepts, the big corporation. And all in all, the purpose is that we would like to try to in, uh, convince most of the companies in Hong Kong, especially the SME as well as the multinational corporation, trying to put purpose into their business strategies. And we are very happy to see that a lot of the corporation, uh, no matter it's a big corporation or even the SME has been okay doing a lot of the effort in pursuing this creating share value or putting the purpose into their business strategies. So that today we are ready to get to have a free distinguishable uh, speaker when he's um, CY Chen from Hong Kong Bob Band. Okay, thank you. Uh, he's the co-owner and head of the talent engagement and corporate social investment. And the next speaker is from uh, New World Group, Mr. Teddy Liu. Yeah, he's the corporate and talent uh, development, New World Development Company Limited. And last but not the least is the Mrs. Corinne Tap. It's from Daylong. Okay, thank you very much. It's okay. So may I invite CY to have the first presentation and first sharing with us because uh, CY is a very gentleman because uh, he's seen that a lot of us are Cantonese speaking. So he would like to conduct his presentation in Cantonese. Thank you very much. Okay, yeah, so time. Oops. I need to go back to the very first slide. Oh, you have to find the Uh, let me check it out. Um, is it the most important part of uh, all right, 早晨, 早晨。早晨。早晨。早晨。早晨。早晨。早晨。早晨。早晨。早晨。早晨。早晨。早晨。早晨。早晨。早晨。早晨。早晨。早晨。早晨。早晨。早晨。早晨。早晨。早晨。
其實我哋都要 create profits 嘅，因為咧我自己 c o r o n a 咧，我超過一半身家擺咗喺公司啲股票度嘅。咁所以咧，如果公司淨係去做好事，但係又揾唔到錢嘅話咧，我都幾頭痕嘅。咁所以當我哋每做一樣嘢，每諗一樣嘢嘅時間咧，其實都一定要確保我哋都要揾到錢先去做。咁啊，今日咧其實我哋我就將個 title 嘅寫成 purposeful profits。咁啊，講翻少少背景先啦，即、就、係、是、我諗大家如果認識香港嘅電信嘅 market 即係市場嘅話咧，其實都知道咧、呃、以往咧特別係其實我哋好多競爭對手咧。其實都係有一個大家族喺背後 support 住佢哋嘅，不論佢係即係姓李啊，定係唔同嘅姓嘅一啲大家族啦。咁我哋就、呃、一直都同佢哋競爭緊。我哋大概啊而家二十六年嘅歷史，其實就一直都係好似呢個故事咁，大衛同哥利亞，可能大家都聽過呢個故事。呃、我哋如果同誒、呃、哥利亞打交咧，我哋唔可以同佢 fist fight 嘅。簡單啲講就係你唔可以佢出拳，你行埋去同佢肉搏。我哋打呢一場仗嘅時候咧，好多人都會覺得咁一定係哥利亞贏啦，咁大隻係咪先？咁但係大家都知道，其實喺一個歷史入面咧，係大衛贏咗㗎。咁點解呢？因為佢係快啦、準啦，即係肯唔肯我哋另計啦即係佢快同埋好準，同埋佢係用咗一個工具去做。咁所以其實我哋都一樣。咁多年嚟，我哋對住一啲好大嘅對手啦，我哋都唔可以佢做乜，我做乜，我哋唔可以喺同一個、呃、地方嗰度做一模一樣嘅嘢，因為不論係錢、resources、人力、物力，佢哋一定比我哋多。所以每一次我哋去做每一樣嘢，不論係 marketing 或者 non-marketing， 甚至乎可能係 HR 或者我哋講緊 create social value 嘅時候咧，我哋都希望用一啲特別啲嘅方法。點解要特別呢？因為咁樣大家先知道，咁樣大家先記得，咁樣大家先會有機會中意。咁所以呢個就係俾少少背景。一陣間我哋留作個我分享嘅，可能同其他公司所做緊嘅都會有少少唔同嘅、呃。左手邊嗰個咧，其實係我哋今年啱啱十一月初出爐嘅 Any Report 嘅主題，就係、是、Purposeful Profit。Uh, 我哋嘅 belief 咧，大家學如果認識我哋都會聽過，我哋公司嘅 core purpose is to make our Hong Kong a better place to live， 成就香港更美好家園。呢、这個咧唔係 slogan 嚟嘅，點解咧？一直以嚟其實我哋都做緊，一間下一張 slide 會講多少少。Uh, 但係呢個係我哋最緊要、最緊要嘅 driving force， 同埋我哋嘅 legal unfair competitive advantage， 即係話咧呢個係我哋一個好重要、好重要嘅 edge 嚟嘅。咁啊，一間會講多少少點解？但係我哋 believe 一樣嘢，我哋 make profits 咧唔係淨係賺到盡，而我哋喺個過程入面，因為我哋要 make 香港 a better place to live 咧，呢、这個就係有使命嘅利潤，呢、这個係對我哋嚟講係好緊要。因為我哋相信做得啱咧，啲人會中意我哋咧，啲 profits 就入嚟㗎啦。咁呢個就係我哋一直以嚟嘅 believe。咁啊～亦都可以好快咁樣講一講，咁我諗大家如果對即係、呃呃、上市公司啊、聯交所一啲要求都知道，其實 ESG 呢個概念、呃、早兩三年開始，我哋就要開始有做 reporting 啦，要一個 set up 一個 environmental social and governance 嘅 framework。咁我哋都喺每一年嘅 annual result 嗰度咧，要講翻俾聯交所知，其實我哋做咗啲乜嘢，咁就成為一間有即係、就是、負責任嘅一間企業。咁啊，其實呢度我想 highlight 嘅咧。誒、uh, 呢個當然啦，頭先阿 Alan 都有提過，我哋有唔同嘅 stakeholders 啦，有我哋嘅 talent 啦，有 customers 啦 ，environment 啦，呢度有我哋點樣去 serve 個 community 啦。呢度咧，我今日會講多少少就我哋嘅 partnership 嗰啲 social enterprise 係啦。咁我哋又點睇呢一啲 partnership 咧？咁樣咁但係呢一個咧，其實好特別嘅。我哋希望就係話誒呢一個做呢一樣嘢嘅時候，就好似頭先我第一張 slide 講啦，我哋做都想做得特別啲，所以咧我哋有一啲 term 咧，今日唔多講啦。我哋成日都講就係、是、我哋冚住個公司 logo 咧，都應該有人知道呢間係香港寬頻嚟嘅。呢、這個係誒，遲啲我再 share 俾你哋睇係啲咩。今日太啲字太細隻，係啦。今日我會 focus 多少少 on 呢個 partnership。頭先講我哋其實一直都已經幫緊香港，誒、呃、好快嘅啫。由以前嘅 IDD 到有 b o a r d Brand， 到我哋兩三年前做 Mobile， 大家都發覺其實香港電信業你哋俾緊嘅月費，如果 compare to 其他香世界好多地方咧，香港真係好平。
咁但我哋一直嘅做緊一樣嘢，用一啲比較特別啲嘅 business model， 令到個 cost cost 咧減到好低，咁大家都可以平啲咁用，去幫香港人。誒、呃、呢、這個就係我哋一直以嚟喺業務上面好重要嘅嘢。右上角呢度講咧，就係我哋最 basic 一百 m e g 嘅 internet 上網嘅服務咧，我哋嘅收費係堅持唔會高過香港、呃、家庭入息中位數嘅一個 percent 嘅。即係、呃、大概係兩萬零蚊，所以我哋一定唔會貴過兩百幾蚊嘅。咁我唔講我哋嘅競爭對手收幾多錢啦。總言之，我哋就最 basic 呢個我哋堅持。咁啊，當然如果我哋、啊、有其他 service 加落去，咁可能會貴啲啦。咁但係呢個都係我哋最緊守嘅第一樣嘢，就喺、是、個 business 度點樣確保幫到香港人。咁另外我哋其實都好頭先都講啦 ，social values 唔單止係誒、呃、for 個 community。我哋先係要照顧下我哋自己啲同事，因為我哋講緊其實有三千個同事，三千個同事代表緊三千個 families。如果我哋對佢哋唔好咧，佢翻到屋企對屋企人唔好咧，唔開心咧，其實都幾慘嘅，都唔少嘅。其實三三千個家庭，咁所以我哋其實有好多唔同嘅東西去啊、呃、幫我哋同事啦。頭先講嘅 co ownership 啦、呃，我哋有超過十分一嘅同事其實係公司嘅 co owners。咁 c o n e r 係咩呢？就係、是、簡單啲講，投資做落間公司，公司做得好呢，佢會多啲錢。咁多啲錢咧，我諗都係對一個家庭嚟講好重要嘅。咁另外就係我哋有好 strong 嘅一個叫 life of priority 嘅 culture， 即係生活工作優次。可能大家聽得多就 work life balance 啦。咁我哋就好得意，我哋唔信嘅，因為 balance 唔到噶。咁<笑>咁我哋就第一樣嘢就係先行生活，先行 life。即係話咧，最緊要嘅 priority 係健康，第二係家庭，第三先係工作。咁所以咧，我哋其實咧有好多唔同嘅 arrangement， 譬如我哋以前翻九至六，而家翻九至五啊，咁佢中意翻十點啊，放六點又得啊。誒、呃，我哋有好多 half day off， 正正今日咧，其實我講完呢個 talk 之後，下晝放假嘅。因為我哋每個月咧有一個禮拜五咧就放假，就俾啲同事咧，如果譬如有小朋友嘅，早啲去湊下小朋友啊，買餸煮飯啊，可能同 another half 去，如果佢有放到假嘅去做其他嘢。後生啲嘅可能去行下山啊，唱下卡拉 OK 啊，踢下波啊，咩都得。其實佢哋中意點做都得。咁 compare to 我哋嘅 normal。啊、uh, ，Hong Kong companies 咧，其實我哋減少咗啲 working hours 啊，放咁多唔同類型嘅假咧，我哋多三十幾日假噶，比起其他公司。啊、有興趣嘅話可以同我講，我都係負責、呃、human resources 嘅，係啦。咁<笑>啊，講笑啫。咁啊，我哋除咗講即係呢啲好嘅一啲俾 serve 佢哋 f 佢哋家庭嘅嘢之外咧，其實我哋都 develop 我哋嘅同事啦 f 我哋啲 management， 我哋會有啲好特別嘅方法。去做一啲 experiential trip， 帶佢哋出去去增值佢哋啦。但我反而想 highlight 嘅係呢一個，我哋一個叫下一站大學嘅、呃、program。其實係咩呢？我哋其實我諗大家都認知，就香港朋友好多同事都係啲前線同事，可能喺街度大家見到個 promoters 啦，可能係幫大家喺屋企裝機嗰啲裝機師傅。其實可能佢哋都係中六、中五畢業或者中六畢業，誒、呃、冇機會去讀大學㗎。咁但我哋其實有一個 program 咧，就係同一個機構合作啦，就提供佢哋在職嘅時候，我哋 sponsor 佢哋九成嘅學費，等佢哋有機會再攞翻一個大學學位。咁當然佢辛苦係辛苦在咩呢？佢又要翻工，但又又要讀書。咁但我哋都會 flexible 咁安排佢哋啲工作時間。咁點解呢個係同 social value 好有關係呢？我講一個好簡單嘅。例子就係、是、我哋其實有第一批嘅同學早兩三年其實已經畢咗業，攞咗佢哋嘅第一個學位。以前咧，其實佢哋如果同佢哋嘅小朋友講話，喂，阿、呃啊、女啊，你咧即係要努力讀書啊，如果唔係第時好似老豆咁啦，又讀唔到大學。咁但係今天咧，佢同佢嘅女講嘅時候就係話，阿、啊、女啊，你要努力讀書啊，咁你第時就可以好似你老豆咁樣做一個大學生。即係我諗呢一個就係我哋希望教育可以俾到同事同埋俾到佢哋嘅 family 一個好重要嘅東西咯。Oops. 好啦，咁啊，講多少少真係 extend e d to 個 community 啦。誒、uh, ，其實我哋喺好多 operation 嘅層面咧，都係考慮到會唔會可以將佢 outsource 啊、uh, ，to 我哋咧，我哋比較少 directly 係做 inclusive hiring 嘅，即係直接可能請一啲 people of difference 嘅。咁但係我哋希望透過個 operation 咧，係幫到一啲可能喺社會上面有需要，或者真係希望有一個工作嘅。啊！人事咁第一個例子咧就係、是、我諗大家都知啦，電信行業以往咧，如果、呃、相對地你唔係太後生嘅話咧，你可能都有機會打電打一零八三查電話嘅。不過係講好耐之前，而家大家正常都係
上 Google 揾啦，係咪、啊、但但係我想講呢，其實香港仍然有好多人係用緊呢個 service 嘅。咁我哋呢個 service 呢，其實就同一間大同企業 I Enterprise， 其實佢哋間社企專請一啲、啊、disabled 嘅嘅朋友啦。去幫我哋手咧 run 一個 call c e n t e r 去接呢一啲電話，聽呢一啲嘅 call 嘅。咁同我哋嚟講，其實最緊要係咩呢？我哋本身喺廣州有個 call c e n t e r 其實佢哋咧主要就係做 custom service 啦，做 tele sales 啦，即係打電話就做銷售啦。其實佢哋喺嗰個、啊啊、工作上面咧，呢、這個係相對地簡單。咁所以咧，如果我哋用咗啲同事去做呢件事咧，其實咧就嘥咗。咁我哋就將呢啲比較簡單啲嘅工種咧，嘗試就同 I Enterprise 合作。咁但係發現咧，其實我哋誒我哋嚟緊同佢哋已經合作咗出現咗五週年誒誒咁耐㗎啦。咁啊，我哋發現其實個 cost 咧同我哋自己喺廣州請人基本上係差唔多。咁但係個好處係咩咧？我又慳咗啲燈油火蠟啦。咁但係如果大家認另外就係、是、如果大家認識 I Enterprise 都知道佢哋嘅 founder Alex 咧。咁係一個好犀利嘅人啦，咁我哋可以好免費咁樣有一個好好嘅 leader 去帶住呢班同事啦。換轉如果我喺廣州請，我都要好貴先請得到 Alex， 我哥請唔起添。咁啊，所以其實我哋我發覺呢個合作好好。不過呢，坦白講，由開初合作到到 high way 咧，發現原來真係越嚟越少人 call。咁啊死啦！咁會唔會？咁當然，如果我 per call 咁，佢計咪越嚟越貴囉。咁我就要諗依點呢。咁。咁啊，真係坐低同佢哋傾。其實 to 佢哋咧，頭先我講嗰個 partnership on 個 ESG 咧，我哋對待呢個 partnership 同對待其他 commercial partnership 基本上係一樣嘅。佢哋嘅 KPI 同我哋自己嘅 KPI 係一樣嘅。不過 instead of 一諗，咦咁 call 量少咗，不如唔揾佢哋做，或者我哋 cut 咗呢個 service， 我哋同佢同佢哋就坐低一齊傾，睇下誒咁嚟緊我哋可以點樣繼續令到佢哋增值，幫到我哋咧。咁所以喺今年年初嘅時候咧，佢哋多咗一個服務，就係、是、佢有啲同事我哋 train up 咗佢哋咧做 online chat 啊。即係我哋啲客 online 問嘢，咁佢哋咪答翻佢哋咯。咁又發覺，誒、哎、又得喎。咁其實就係、是、呢、这個 partnership， 其實希望係 win win 嘅，幫到佢哋，其實都會幫到我哋咯。咁但係當然，身為一個嘅企業 commercial 嘅企業，你係真係唔可以咁隨便放棄嘅。你真係要去坐低同佢哋傾，同佢哋去諗。但係又會發覺其實佢哋係可以做到好多嘅嘢。咁啊，另外咧下低呢個共處家族好似出面有個 booth， 大家有興趣可以瞭解一下。其實我哋有兩，我哋喺葵涌有兩個。主要嘅 office， 其中嘅 office 呢，我哋有個細細嘅 area， 有個 canteen 仔，其實就係我哋邀請咗共住家族啦，佢哋入面一啲家庭主婦啦咁就佢哋有啲日,、就是、日間嘅時候有啲時間，咁就去幫手整誒嘢食。啊！整嘢飲賣俾我哋啲同事，咁佢哋又揾到啲錢，啲同事又好開心嘅，因為啲嘢食又好食啦，同埋好好嘅啲啲啲啲同事，佢哋啊，佢哋會我哋冇要求㗎，佢哋會煲啲湯。湯水咁就俾我哋啲同事飲，佢哋係中意到佢哋好緊要咁樣啦。咁另外就係我哋另外一邊嘅 office 咧，其實係個 canteen 嘅，我哋有個啊啦啊啊誒食飯嘅地方。咁好多碗碗碟碟啊，食完之後咁，其實我哋亦都 outsource 咗俾另外一間企誒社企啊 w a s h i s h 就幫我哋去做啊做呢個啊 cleaning service 嘅。咁啊，主要其實我哋同社企嘅合作就係咁啦。當然我哋亦都真係 directly 做好多嘅 community service 嘅，因為我哋有個 CSI 分。咁但係咧、呃，我知道時間差唔多，咁我想好快咧就跳到一個我哋其實近期嘅一個 project， 就係叫 n e s b y w i s e 或者麻煩可唔可以幫我 play 一 play 個 video？ 呢個係關於。啊！小朋友上網習慣嘅一個 project 嚟嘅，應該就咁 play 可以嘅，撳撳落個 screen， 撳落嗰個 video 度。Oops， 誒上上多兩版，再再上一版，再上一版，係啦，係啦，撳入去，撳落去個 logo 度得㗎啦。係係頭先，或者 yes yes、欸。誒冇咗聲。淘寶，淘。可唔可以重新嚟一次？係<笑>啦<笑>，其實我頭先已經一早嚟咗試咗，先係好好嘅。<笑>就係咁噶啦。你識唔識呢個叫咩名？就係一、二
我每天都會看的<笑> 三至四個鐘在那裡錄著個YouTube 你的網絡安全知識是在哪裏學習有沒有教小朋友這件事<笑> 其實這個數碼人的project我們由舊年一七年開始 這個我想是很重要的,不是特別去做另外一些或者純粹捐錢 因為香港政府其實現在是Curriculum是不是未有關於Cyber 老師其實都很喜歡 So thank you CY for the very interesting presentation So uh, next, OK, we invite Mr. Teddy
Uh, thank you for giving me the chance to uh, share a little bit on New World. So as per CY, so I think most of us are Cantonese speaking, so in that case I should be speaking Cantonese, right? So for those not speaking Cantonese, bear with me in the Cantonese part then. Okay, so we are talking about the world of the world of the world. We are doing what we are doing. I want to ask a simple question, if anyone doesn't know where the world is. Anybody really don't know New World is? Okay, so I hope you understand that the world of the world is really a world of the world of the world. We always think that it's not. We think that the world of the world is the third of the world. Adrian, the third of the world, has a vision. He said that we don't want to be a world of the world of the world. Because there are so many people in the world of the world. The world is actually a world of the world of the world. The world is a world of the world of the world. We hope that people feel that we are not different. But we hope that people feel that we are not different. So I hope that we can share a few things about the world of the world of the world of the world. It doesn't move. Okay. Ah, 我哋個目的係一個咩？係俾一個一個 better 嘅 society 嚇，去去即係令到大家覺得係住得一個舒服啲咁多。希望大家明白到咧，我哋係 through innovation 同埋 sustainability 做咗一個大家生活環境裏邊。我哋賣俾嘅嘢唔係一個樓宇，唔係一個巴士。我哋做巴士啦，呢個會展啦，我哋做建築啦，我哋做零售啦，我哋做 hotels 啦，我哋做誒 even 誒飛機啦、租任啦、醫院啦、診所啦。啊，我成日同人講話，我哋乜都除咗除咗發發之外，乜都做啦。咁啊，當然啦，呢曬冷又冇做 bank， 因為 bank 比較難搞，同埋 bank 就每放月下啦，咁多 fintech disrupt 就又變咗我哋呢個唔係一個好嘅 business 咧。我哋暫時都冇做 bank 嘅，其他乜都做唔齊。最近做到誒，如果大家有留意咧，琴日都開幕我哋嘅一個叫 Humansa， 係關於老人家啦，關於啲誒 health 嘅 issues 啦。咁我哋都做咗好多 medical 有關嘅 business。其實我原來想講咩咧？我哋最近我哋喺一四年開始做咗 rebranding， 我哋一個好清楚嘅 tagline， 我叫 the additional movement， 工匠精神。咁何謂工匠咧？咁係咪 Teddy 即係話喺誒地盤揸住個鋤頭嗰個就係工匠啊？做呢個 carpenter 係工匠啊？其實每一個同事都希望佢係工匠。想講咩咧？工匠意思係話用我能力好專業地對住個客人，由大家嗰個幻想裏邊創造佢個人化嘅，但係用我哋嘅能力，用我哋嘅 craftsmanship 最好嘅一個工能力，一個專業立場，俾翻一個好有感覺俾佢。而經過我哋嘅過去咁多年嘅領個年代裏面嘅 heritage 啦 ，make it c o n t e m p o r i z e 去現代化佢，俾翻個人嘅經歷。所以我哋話從我哋唔係去賣一個 property， 唔係賣一個餐廳，賣一個 buffet 俾你，我哋賣一個感受俾你，一個生命嘅感受。所以我哋想賣俾住就話，我哋希望嘅係一個好好嘅生命感受俾你，係一個 living experience。因為本身嚟講，每個人唔會記得你做咗咩嘢嘅，只有記得你令到點樣感受。新世界目的就係，如果我哋係要賣樓嘅話，就希望一個好好嘅生命感受喺個環境創造。如果佢係酒店，係一個會展，係一個巴士，係一個船，係一個飛機，嗰、那個過程裏面，你個感受係咩呢？我哋希望達到係你需要嘅嘢，你中意嘅嘢，你要記得我同你嘅生命有一個連結。所以我哋成日講笑，我哋唔 care market share 嘅，我哋唔介意個市場佔有率嘅，我只係 care 你嘅 mind share。你心目中有冇我呢？如果你心目中冇我嘅話咧，我係冇存在價值。呢、这個唔單止公司咧，我自己個人都係咁睇件事嘅。我自己如果係唔存在喺你心裏邊嘅話，同你喺面前你唔會當我存在嘅話咧，我同死無關係，冇分別。所以立場就係、是，如果你心裏中有我存在，因為我幫到你生命有意思嘅話，我先存在價值。咁新世界多咗呢個價值，希望做呢件事嘅話，我哋喺今日今日今日嚟到呢度咧，希望真係會同你 collect、connect and collide， 希望得到你同我嘅關係，你達到更加好嘅將來，更加好嘅世界。咁啊，今日分享裏邊咧，我都想講講新世界。其實咁多年嚟講咧，我哋都有好多啊、呃、真正嘅啲 movement 係做過好多關於實實邊嘅事。咁當然啦，由我哋一九五幾年開始，而家六幾年至而家做咗好多。但係主要嚟講，關於 ESG， 大家明白到呢幾年就做咗好多要求。咁我哋個 timeline 我就三五啊一三年開始啦，二三一三年開始，一二年開始咧，我哋有個 community 成立咗，希望就話將實實邊嘅擺喺最高最高嘅層次之一。大家明白到喺個 ESG 裏面，我哋有三個 P 嘅呵 ，planet、people、profit。當然咧，師話提到啦，其實重要係個 purpose， 係嘛？咁啊，第四 P 重要嘅 purpose。剛才講個 living experience 就講咗我哋嘅 purpose。但當然咧，嗰三個 P 都要維持嘅。咁 profit for sure， 我哋係一間商業機構，唔賺錢就唔可以 sustain。呢個大家明白嘅，但係唔可以賺到盡，呢、這個就一條立場。賺過程裏面，你都係有個原因，點解要賺？馬雲講過，點解咁富有呢？
，唔係因為佢 lucky， 因為佢嘅能力，大家相信佢有個能力去幫呢啲資源更加發揮得更加好，做啲社會做得更加多福。咁、那個立場將啲資源擺喺身上，嗰、那個發揮嘅能力就唔係本身佢有錢，係個錢就集逆成球，做翻更多多嘢發呢個社會。咁我哋希望新世界都喺個過程裏面做呢件事，所以我覺得我哋 purpose 好緊要。start from 一二年開始，我哋 set 個 committee 去 address 呢個 issue。同一時間嚟講，見到我哋做咗好多嘢啦。我哋今日我會分享第一個 project 啦，就係個 springboard， 係一個同啲細路仔有關係嘅一個嘅活動。依家我再分享。之後我哋不斷又做 reporting 啦，做好多嘅誒入咗行紙裏邊啦。And then 我哋喺我哋嘅建築裏邊，始終頭先講啦，我哋個大主業都係做建築，做呢個文字發展。我哋用咗好多方法規範自己，希望喺個社會裏邊，喺建築裏邊做嘅 impact 係少啲負面嘅，多啲正面嘅。呢十日當然都係未去到一個可以平衡，甚至係 positive impact。但我希望 mitigate 或者減低我哋嘅 negative impact 對社會立場嚟講，如果我哋作為一個推動。生活環境嘅話，嗰、那個環境如果對人類係負面嘅話，咁我咪傷害緊社會，傷害緊世界。所以希望新世界立場嚟講，利用一個好好嘅規範，推動自己行得高一啲，行高啲咁多，做到更加少嘅負面影響，多啲正面影響。所以用咗啲 well standard。同一時間嚟講，我哋去咗一個好多嘅工作啦。有呢個係喺一個個 global real estate 嘅實際啲 benchmark 去量度自己做得好唔好啦。咁過去亦都一年嚟講咧，我哋攞咗啲 green bond， 用啲綠色嘅債券去綁住自己。攞債券唔係咁簡單，喂借錢啫。但我哋好多 commitment 要做，我做唔到，我俾人還咗罰息好多嘅其他 issue。咁即係話我對個綠色嘅環境創造係一個基本上嘅 commitment， 係一個支持。我做唔到，我要被罰嘅。好啦，同一時間嚟講，我哋喺一七年咧，我哋都定咗一個好遠嘅二零三零嘅 sustainable vision， 希望話俾我知道，嚟緊我想做咩嘢咧？嗱，當然其實好多好多嘢。咁新世界先講一個好大嘅機構，一四萬七千幾人，我好難進入。咁今日我講些少嘅分享啊嘛，都圍繞翻 P P P， 即係 Planet People Profit。咁 Profit 就唔講啦嚇，咁就要係好啦。咁然心聲想先講下個 Planet 啦。我哋喺環境方面而家實提到啦，我哋好多嘅唔同嘅方法規範自己，譬如啲 Beams 啊、Leads 啊，甚至最近嘅就 Well Well 係一個叫做 International Well Building Standard， 將嗰個本身人裏面有七個 standard， 由嗰個由 Air、Water、Nutrient 啊。直上到去 body、mind and soul， 七個環境影響，七個元素裏邊喺環境創造嘅點影響咧？我哋全部將呢啲完全擺落我哋嘅 consideration 裏邊。比如我每做一件事，我都希望係環境創造正面嘅。嗱，呢個係我哋嘅理想，做唔做到逐步嚟。我哋有自我規範、自我學習，我哋經過好多嘅考察、好多嘅考驗。咁見到我哋有都好多 achievement 咧，我唔盡力咧。但係嚟緊，我希望全部都做到，因為新世界立場唔係想做一件事咁簡單，係一件可以。持續嘅事，咁所以立場我希望將來所有 building 都有 beam 啊、lift 啊、well 嘅 standard 嘅認證，所以話俾人知道我哋新世界唔係想 simply 做間嘢賣俾你算數，係有意思咁賣俾你，唔係賣俾你咁簡單，同你分享生命嘅感受。咁另一方面嚟講咧，我哋本身喺呢個啲實際 building 裏邊咧，好多時最大最大排包會點講咧？用電大家明白，但係最 substantial 一個傷害環境嘅地方嚟嘅。咁唯一方法就不斷將用電嗰個能量減低啦。繼續去 efficient 呢個過程啦，個效率提高嘅話咧，變咗我用得少啲，但係連做多啲嘅足，就係好多嘅 contribution 咧，希望嗰個正面影響係多啲咁多。所以我哋第一個做咗啦，先減我哋用電量。用咩方法咧？用所有 technology、innovation、practice、behavior， 都因為人用嘅就啱用得好，用最好嘅機器啦，最好嘅方法啦，最好嘅時間啦，最好嘅配搭啦，令到佢減電。所以變咗我哋見到喺二零三零入邊，我哋有近一名俾自己。香港 base 一個一二零一二年嘅 baseline， 起碼三十 percent 減電。教國內裏邊希望有一個廿二 percent 減電，比上一二零一五嘅 deadline。咁當然咧，過程裏邊呢個我哋嘅方向性，做唔做到我唔知。但係我全個公司四萬幾人都向呢個方向負責。咁大家我哋寫出嚟就要負責啦，係咪？咁我哋亦都有 third party 去認證呢個過程裏面係咪做到嘅？咁喺 Green Finance 提過啦，我哋攞咗三十幾億去做我哋個北角嘅 project。點解咁做咧？因為我想話俾人知道，我呢個 building 本身就係 green 嘅 building，support 埋我呢個 green 嘅 bond。由起點、終點、將來持續落去都要係綠色嘅。希望件事就唔係話自己做好定時，人哋攞個 branding 唔簡單，係話俾你知道我哋嘅 commitment。希望真係做到件事嘅話，咁大家喺過程裏享受到我哋生命感受。好啦，咁講完啲 corporate 出少嘅環境方面嚟講啦，我哋講下對人啦。我哋啱啱舊年我哋知道即係誒，其實即係跟今年應該話而家十一月啫。咁啊，其實咧，我知道咧，好多嘅香港朋友係買唔到樓嘅，尤其是新一代。咁當然啦，我哋都要為我哋嘅股東去謀利益嘅。但係專登撥咗一部分嘅樓宇，我哋喺屯門呢個 project， 
惠及一啲比較後生啲、難上樓嘅，我哋會屈過佢，咪真係上唔到樓嘅啦。佢過程咪難嘅啦，佢有咩困難啦？我哋希望俾一個優惠嘅方法，達至到佢可以盡快上樓，係咪明白到呢、这個唔係一個誒誒係人都可以做到嘅嘢，亦都唔係所有人都有得到嘅好處。但係我哋希望嘅起點話俾人知道 ，developer 都有良心嘅，亦都係關顧社會真正需要嘅。你方面嚟講啦，我哋喺好多嘅公即係公眾嘅動作裏面咧，大家記得嗬，我哋嘅杜海榮停咗三十三年噶啦。喺七年前，我哋覺得 it's about time to restart。呢個係一個很好好嘅大家嘅記憶。點解以前可以遊過海嘅咧？啲水咁靚嘅咧，中間因為污染，個海唔可以再遊嘅話，咁係咪好可惜咧？香港呢個特色去邊度咧？我同榮仲一齊諗下，喂，可唔可以再重新啊？因為我哋本擁有嘅，大家只係會展我哋嘅管理啦。唔好介意，對面尖沙咀嘅都係我哋嘅尖石、尖石啊、尖沙咀嗰個嘅大廈嘅重建啦。我哋見到我哋自己個門廊，佢偏偏中間唔可以令到件事可以個共融咩？大家一齊享受呢呢個好嘅靚嘅，當年喺響海海一個海海灣咧。咁我覺得呢件事可以重新，所以七年前我哋重新同同永總講，喂，我有冇做到啲嘢咧？於是我哋 start 翻呢個工作，發覺係做到嘅，做翻好多安全功夫啊、水嘅染質啊、and 頂同一時間 and 幾好多。誒，袁總啊，活啊，遊泳嘅同朋友嘅見證，做一件事，將香港有個記憶，三十三年唔見咗嘅，帶翻翻嚟，希望每年都揾落去。我哋揾咗七年啦，咁而家今年仲有三千幾人參加，都好多嘅活活動，希望大家繼續堅持呢一個好好嘅一個活動啦。另一方面嚟講，我哋有一個創新，創新方面嚟講，大家知道香港雖然有少少落後，但係都可以追得好快，係咪？所以我哋自己都喺創新方面都做一個叫 Yuka Nova 一個都冇叫品牌啦，一個 lab 去支持我哋嘅新嘅 startup。嗱，我哋立場唔係揾 start 人啲 investor 自己發達，係幫佢哋成就佢哋行出去。呢、这、一個咁嘅概念唔單止喺遠東金融，其實如果大家明白呢個 K 十一，大家有冇聽過 K 十一呢個呢個品牌啊？我哋 K 十一品牌係咩咧？將 art、people、nature 係我哋目的。art 藝術，我老闆係一個好中意藝術嘅人，但係覺得藝術係咪 for a few 咧？即即係有錢人先玩嘅嘢咧？佢覺得唔係 ，art 係 for the mass。所以我哋將好多藝術品擺喺我哋嘅 shopping mall 去展覽，唔使錢嘅噃。我哋舉個例子，一四年我哋喺上海做一個 Dali show， 達賴嘅 show， 全世界攞咗廿五個最高嘅 art pieces， 多過羅浮宮，擺喺上海嘅一個 K 十一 ，within 幾尺可以摸得埋，都摸到咁滯。OK， 擺喺度即係面對面，吸引到六十幾萬人睇，嗱好奇怪喎、哦，國內好多 museum 嘅。要俾廿蚊入場嘅，但係冇人去。我哋收尾摩要收一百蚊人民幣嘅 ，within 半年之後六十幾人入咗去睇。原因唔係話嗰百蚊問題，係令到個 traffic 其實人係好中意藝術，藝術我哋生嘅部分一樣啦。係將一啲工作，如果世界需要嘅，我哋就幫佢 p r o p e l 出去。我哋喺武漢有我哋嘅藝術村，係幫啲藝術家俾錢佢，培育佢，跳上國際嘅舞台。我哋係唔收錢嘅。係冇琴英文嘅，即係目的係話，其實藝術又好，創新又好，都係我希望嘅平台俾我哋發揮自己。咁我哋係咪做緊一啲社會企業關係需要嘅嘢呢？我希望係。咁好多點點剪剪，我唔就講落去啦。好啦，咁想講翻一個比較我哋嘅 signature product 一個 project， 呢個就係我哋叫飛躍新世界一個嘅一個嘅 program。呢個就咩呢？我哋喺一二一三年開始去針對香港好多七至十二歲細路仔，我哋分析過。發覺點解呢啲細路仔學界裏面嘅學校精英游水隊、籃球隊咧，通常都係啲名校先有嘅咧。一啲比較誒第二三三四線、四五線嘅 five band 嗰啲，係冇學生參加嘅咧。點解咧？原來發覺唔係佢嘅能力問題，係佢資源問題。後生仔冇資源咧，佢做唔到工作，係佢冇能力去機會發揮。所以我老闆 Adrian 佢覺得：喂，唔係喎，我哋幫啲細路仔啦。我哋俾七年嘅免費教育培訓，我哋同呢個泳總啦，同籃球隊啦，同好多其他嘅活動嘅，希望啲活動家教啲細路仔。我哋喺東涌啊，誒誒呢個誒、啊、天水圍啊、深水埗啊、將軍澳啊呢啲比較 under resource 嘅區域，揀咗五百九十細路仔做啲七年嘅免費教育，希望佢過程裏面揾到自我嘅存在價值，揾到自我可以超越咗一個冇資源嘅環境。發揮自己真正立場，呢、这個就是我哋有個個過程。咁當然啦，呢七年裏面，其實我哋已經做咗六七年啦，係好成功。咁我後面再分享到底係做咗咩嘢咧？點令到佢有存在價值咧？
咁啊，首先嚟講，其實我哋好 modern dimension， 乜都做嘅。我哋會好多 visits 啊，好多 engagement 啊，好多 connectivities 啊，好多 experiencing 啊，好多 teaching 去做。咁其中一個啦 ，for example， 我哋有籃球組啦，籃球隊啦。啊，呢、這個剛才係一個入泳隊啦嚇，泳隊見到我哋揾咗好多出色嘅泳泳手同佢佢嗰個關係啦，做佢教教佢哋去游水啦，籃球隊啦。咁南海咧就揾阿 Jerry Lim 咧嚇，阿林書豪嚟香港咧去開幕喎，見證同一細路仔一齊去影相，好開心。咁啊，我哋本身嚟講新世界都喺西貢有個誒教 tennis 嘅地方，游水地方啦。咁我哋希望嗰度都令到佢有一個參與。好啦，咁啊，但係邊係咩嘢咧？我哋俾好多唔同嘅 case share 俾佢啦。但係見到嚟好新世界好多活動啦。另一方面嚟講咧，希望佢有唔同嘅感受啦。第一陣時我話，好似話我哋揾到啲好出色嘅、好有意思嘅。運動家，甚至唔好介意啦。啊，見到啊啊蘇偉華，本身佢係咩咧？佢係誒傷殘運動家，但係佢種堅忍工作，係咪？點樣生命嘅感受？點話俾你知？我就算啦，我殘而不廢。啲細路仔見到哇，一咁叻嘅人，本身嚟講就算殘廢，佢都咁叻嘅話，我自己點將自己個個個能個能力提升咧？啊，呢啲好好嘅感受，好嘅分享，令到佢覺得人生好有目的，好有能力。再有啦，我哋去北京啦。做多分享啦，嗱呢度係北京嘅分享啦。有時阿文同我快啲咁對下，去另外一方面啦，去到呢個體館啦，瞭解到哇，原來喺裏邊係咁多 equipment， 咁多嘢幫我，咁多人去做呢件事，我點樣 equip 自己咧？上海啦，有多分享去做啦，去瞭解夠耐點樣做運動啦。嗱，另一方面嚟講，除咗做運動唔夠嘅，佢需要嘅一個成長過程。我將新世界一個五百幾個同事配翻五百幾個學生。混混混，希望俾一個生命老師佢，即係我唔單止關顧你嘅游水，關顧你嘅成長，關顧你嘅 discipline， 關顧你嘅家庭關係，關你成個人嘅成長個過程。呢啲從事嚟講，不斷去參與。咁佢本身嚟講，除咗之外咧，唔單止就咁係替顧住細路仔喎，會帶出去做好多嘅啊 ambassador。我哋唔係要賣廣告啊，係覺得兩個人嘅關係，實如果知道自己做緊乜嘅話，佢同人分享嘅話，更加清楚。唔分享話只係自己心裏面，分享就話我成日講笑就話，我我我日我享受冇用啊！我要感受同埋分享先真正將件事落實，所以佢出去做 ambassador， 將件事更加落落地。好啦，另一方面咧，唔單止個細路仔啦，父母其實父母先最重要一個。如果父母唔識得去幫個細路仔成長嘅話，教細路仔係冇用嘅。翻屋企大部分時間個爸爸媽媽都唔幫嘅話，都唔支持嘅話咧，個細路仔學唔到。所以我哋會 engage 埋個家長，所以諗下五百個細路仔。五百個 mentor， 五百個家庭，將呢成千幾二千人、七年啊，我哋不斷去做呢件事，係免費嘅。咁對學生、對家長、對社社會嚟講，我相信都有正面嘅裨益。好啦，咁當然啦，呢班 teams 佢自己本身亦都係佢自己內部嘅分享啦，係咪？我哋方方嘅 team 級都係自己互相學習。咁由大哥嘅大哥哥去教細路仔，呢、這個過程裏邊互相嘅 interaction 係一個好好嘅幫助。最尾啦，我哋都幫佢哋做 scholarship， 因為呢邊後生頭先講過啦。佢哋有 any resources， 一啲乖嘅做得好嘅，我哋俾錢佢去再讀書又好，深造工作，做一個好活動嘅，即繼續個提升，令佢覺得我真有機會成為一個出色嘅人。咁種種嚟講，令到件事咧，我希望喺新世界立場去幫助呢班細路仔做得好啲唔得。頭先講過，我哋四個 P， 最終個 purpose， 我哋 purpose 係咩嘢咧？我哋希望第日你嘅生命感受有我存在，而我存在帶俾你嘅正面嘅一個裨益。咁我哋咧喺二零三零嘅一個 vision 裏邊咧，都將我哋真正嘅方向性擺喺四個四個框框。我相信呢個世界係需要 green 嘅。我記得有一個誒環保國家嘅 James Lovelock， 佢本書叫《The Revenge of Gaia》啊，對於呢個世界嘅一個嘅誒誒控訴啦嚇。佢講嘅説話嘅 Sustainable Development is a fallacy。佢話持續發展係一個謬誤。你相唔相信咧？我都覺得幾啱，就咁 extend。我都 buy in the sense that 人類越聰明，我越發達，我哋所去 exploit 嘅 resource 更加多，係咪咁樣就會殺咗地球咧？如果新世界唔用個方法去建樓，去建築呢個社會，建築我哋嘅生命嘅環境裏邊嘅話，我只會繼續堅持殺咗個地球。所以我哋希望行 green。我哋每做一件事都有個 green consideration， 就算我令到世界有啲轉變，但希望一個正面轉變或者小嘅負面轉變。點做到啊？我希望一方面要賺錢之餘，但係要去資源運用好嘅話，我哋要 smart， 我哋好實在地話俾人知道，我哋用最好嘅方法，用最好嘅 technology， 最簡單立立嘅效果，我哋要做 smart， 
。當然咧，唔可以離開就係人啦。所以要行 well and caring。所以我呢啲工作就係我哋零三零裏面一直都堅持話，希望新世界係帶俾你一個新嘅新世界。咁我有時間問題啦，我唔再阻大家啦，多謝，唔該曬。Oh, thank you, Teddy. So I think most of the audience now will become knowing that New World is not just a property developer. It's a very、uh, diverse business, but at the same time to provide goods for our society. So,、uh, last but not least, may I invite、uh, Ms. Corin, Mrs. Corin Tan, okay, from Daelong, to share with his great story how to build a aqua business. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Hi,、uh, Jiao San. That's、uh, how far my Cantonese、uh, goes. So, <laughs>、um, good morning, everybody. I'm just trying to get the clicker. I'm super excited to, to be here. I、uh, came over from uh, Indonesia, uh, flew over Wednesday night to attend this fabulous、uh, seminar with、uh, so many great speakers and fantastic ideas about how sustainability can become part of everything we do. So I'd like to share with you a story of、uh, our company, the company that I'm leading, which is the Aqua business in Indonesia. And Aqua is a Danone subsidiary. So、um, I think this is the last slide, by the way. Can we? <laughs> I can start and finish here. Maybe that's.、Uh... So this is the tagline of the speech.、Um, uh, flick. Maybe it's easier if you do it from the computer. So, whilst getting to the first slide of my presentation, so my name is Corinne Tap, and I'm the president director for Danone Aqua in Indonesia. I'm Dutch, but I spent most of my working career in in Asia. Spent three years in China, worked in India, Australia, and more than ten years in Indonesia. And、um, and this is all about sharing with you the impact that actually big companies can have if they put sustainability at the heart of everything they do. We hear a lot in the conference about small startups,、uh, NGOs, etc., who all have a big role to play, obviously, when it comes to sustainability and to innovation. But it's in the end, I believe, the larger corporations that actually can make the real impact because they reach they reach most of the people and actually carry most of the funds. So let me tell you a little bit about、uh, Danone, in case of、uh, for you who, who don't know the company. So Danone is a global food company. It's、uh, probably not one of the largest, but more of the medium-sized、uh, global food companies. We are around 28、uh, billion、uh, euro business,、um, and、uh, the mission of Danone is to bring health through food to as many people as possible. And sustainability, or care, or social focus has been always part of our business, starting with our founding father Antoine Rebou, who in, seven, in the 70s actually had a very famous speech to the unions in France, where he basically said the responsibility of companies doesn't stop at the factory gates; it actually goes beyond, and it goes to looking after the communities that we are working with and working in. And that sort of moved on through his son, who basically developed the mission of Danone. That is still the case now. And not only、uh, said these nice words about bringing health through food, but actually put his words into actions by selling off all the businesses that weren't really compliant with that mission. And brings us to a business now with a very limited number of categories, purely focusing on bringing healthier alternatives through food and beverages. And this has moved on even to where we are now, where、uh, Emmanuel Faber, our CEO, launched a year ago the new vision for Danone, which is one planet, one health. So it's not only about the health of the people; it's also about the health of the planet, which is our responsibility as a corporate. So that means that we're basically looking at bringing health through food or beverages to as many people as possible. So through the products that we develop. So we're not a pharmaceutical company; these are all food. Products, and we believe that there is is there is a time for the food revolution. That we're part of the food revolution, where people are getting fed up with industrialized solutions that maybe be very cheap, but actually doesn't bring any value or nutrients to the bodies that we need. It's also about responsible and business stewardship, looking after the communities that we operate in, working with the people around us, the farmers, yeah, the communities, making sure that we look after the resources that we take from the earth. But in the end of the day, it's also about bringing the sustainable value, and we're not an NGO, NGO so we need to 
deliver sustainable, profitable growth. In the end, that's the engine of all of it. And without the profitable growth, we are not able to actually bring the sustainability through the other levers. And Danone is aiming to be a B Corp by 2030 as a multinational. We will be the first multinational that will become a B Corp. Because so far, and you can see the list of companies, there's quite a list of very, very uh, inspiring and very impressive companies that already carry the B Corp logo. And B Corp started in the US as an independent accreditation by an NGO called B Lab that basically gives you a stamp through a very thorough auditing process in how you deal with your finances, your employees, your suppliers, all your partners, your whole ecosystem. And basically this stamp gives an independent stamp for consumers, customers, partners and employees to say this company can be seen as a force for good, business as a force for good is what B Corp stands for. And it's actually one of the, um, of the goals that we, have, um, that we have established. So these are the 2030 goals for Danone and they are uh, inspired by the U United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, which is quite unique for a company to, to be inspired by the SDGs uh, for its own company goals. And we look at three sort of models that we're working at or three axes. First is around our business model. And as part of the business model, we want to be a B Corp by 2030, as I just mentioned. The second is about our brand model and making sure that our brands actually deliver um, the solutions to consumers that bring health, but also look after the planet. So our brands have a purpose, a purpose for consumers, and they solve a social issue for consumers in the local environments that we operate in. And lastly, it's about how we work with our ecosystem, our partners, our employees, and, um, and, and everybody that is connected with us in the ecosystem. So far, already 10 companies of Danone have become a B Corp. So by 2030, the Danone multinational wants to be um, uh, accredited as a B Corp, but it requires some time for B Lab to actually adapt to a multinational becoming a B Corp. And so far, already 10 companies representing 30% of the total Danone revenue globally have become a B Corp. And one of them is Aqua, uh, the company that I'm leading. And actually, we are the largest B Corp in Asia. And, uh, and, and for us as an organization, it has been a real um, achievement, but also a real sense of pride to have been acknowledged and accredited as a B Corp. So let me tell you a little bit about our organization and about Indonesia. So Aqua is a true Indonesian company. For those of you that have been to Indonesia, Aqua is what you ask for if you want to drink water. It's actually become the, the category name. Aqua is the biggest water brand that exists in the world. We do 14 billion liters a year, only in Indonesia. But with that, we are the largest water company in the world. And that's because most people in Indonesia do not have access to water. Eh? Not in their houses, they often need to go to wells to get the water. And therefore, the, the, com the country is depending on bottled water already for a long time for safe and healthy hydration. And that actually was founded by Paterto Utomo, who is the founder of Aqua and founded this company in 73, just for that reason, to bring safe drinking water to Indonesians. And in 73, he started this company that became the largest bottled water company in the world. He passed away suddenly in the 90s, and that's how the family basically came to Danone and these companies came together because the values and the purpose were so similar. Also, Patirto started this company with a great intent, not only to bring a really fantastic product that could bring better health to Indonesians, but also to look after the communities and look after the society in a comprehensive way. And that's exactly what Danone had been doing already for a long time too. So when Danone joined the Aqua business and acquired the majority of the shares, actually the mission of Aqua business became amplified with the access to the resources um, available in, in Danone. We are a large company. We have a huge footprint throughout the country. We have 21 factories, 16 distribution centers. We work with 16 co-packers and we have 15,000 people working directly for us, but 2 million people throughout Indonesia that actually work exclusively for our business through our partners. We reach close to 2 million stores, point of sales in Indonesia. And, um, and this is all through a large network also of partners, 85 distributors that do 90% of our business, the other 10% we cover directly. 
So this comes with a great responsibility, obviously. And in order to drive sustainable business in a country like Indonesia and with a setup like, like ours, you need to be strategic about that. So obviously it starts with supporting healthy hydration since the beginning. It's about all about the water and about protecting the mountain spring water that has been carefully selected um, and is protected uh, so that the best of nature and the minerals is actually ending up in the product, ending up in people's houses. And circularity has been part of how we look at sustainability for a long time. And we look at this from three axes, water, plastics and CO2. The water is obvious. We're in a water business. If we don't look after our watershed, we won't have a business in the future. So looking after a watershed means that we work with all the people around us in our communities where we have water and we have 30 water sources in Indonesia where we get the water from to make sure that this is lasting and sustainable. And this means working with our farmers around us, moving them from chemical fertilizers to organic fertilizers and making sure that they actually create value through working with us and that they have a better outcome. Plastics, I'll talk a little bit more about it because obviously that is a hot topic in the world at the moment. And lastly, it's about CO2 neutral. We have an ambition by 2030 to be CO2 neutral with, with our business. It's not an easy achievement being a largely logistics business and having all our trucks and sites throughout the country. So let me talk about plastics. And actually, the plastic story for Aqua started in, 90, in the 90s, which was way before anybody in this room, probably, let alone many other people in the world, were concerned about plastics. So it was in the 90s that actually the business already started recycling our plastic bottles to reuse them in our bottles again. Yeah, with the clear idea that it would be a waste to let all these uh, products, all this packaging material, material just go to landfill. And by now, 70% of our business is fully circular through a returnable jug model. And this is really the way that people have access to water in Indonesia. And, and, and we're, we're proud of the fact that this is fully returnable and nothing of this goes to landfill. We've also built up over the years an extensive network of infrastructure. For those of you who know, Indonesia has a huge problem with plastic. We're seen as the second biggest polluter to marine plastics. And, uh, and this is partially because there is a lack of infrastructure. Aqua has been building an infrastructure since the 90s. And by now we have set up with our funds six recycle business units that altogether collect and recycle more than 12,000 tons a year. In Bali, we already recover, collect and recycle more plastics than we use or sell. And this is our ambition for the total country. And we're doing this in an inclusive manner. So these recycled business units are run by former waste pickers. So the intent is to move, from, move people from the informal to the formal sector. And these recycled business units are now run by people and they're sustainable, they're profitable. The people are cash rich. These co-ops are now led independently. So their owners help them to form, but are run, now run independently. But we said, even though we've done a lot already, this is not enough because the problem is so huge and we need to start addressing this even more seriously, but also inspire others to actually work with us and collaborate with us and do their own thing. So June earlier this year, we launched uh, the Plastic Pledge. We made it known to the world, to Indonesia, to consumers and to stakeholders that we want to inspire Indonesians to be wise about plastic. We call it Bijak by Plastic. And our plastic pledge has three pillars. The first pillar is around increase of plastic waste collection. And this requires further investment to scale up our ability to collect bottles as well as the other packaging materials so that by 2025 we will nationwide collect more than we actually produce. So we've already gone a long, come a long way, but we still have some gaps to close. This is also about river extraction because a lot of the uh, ocean waste actually comes to the ocean through rivers. And river extraction is something that hasn't been done yet in Indonesia, and it's a cooperation that we are having with a large global NGO to start that in Indonesia. The second pillar is around education, because obviously this has to also come with a behavior change in consumers. Where in the past all products were packed in banana leaves or other organic materials, which could be perfectly disposed of in your back garden, this is not possible with plastics. Eh? And this is what is happening now. 
So we have started national education campaigns to actually educate people about the reuse, reduce, recycle principles, but also use the reach of our brand to millions of people every day to start educating about plastics. And lastly, it's about plastic bottle innovation. In the end of the day, we want all our packaging to be recyclable or compostable by 2025 and make sure that we close the gap on that. And it's in this innovation part that things actually get exciting. Because what we know is that if you have a really strong purpose, you can make the impossible possible. And it is only a few weeks ago that we shared in the Our Ocean Conference, which is a global event around the marine protection that happened to be in Bali, that we shared an innovation that came from idea to life in less than six months. And it's the first water bottle in Indonesia that's been made from 100% recycled plastic. There is no virgin plastic or oil used to produce that bottle. And this is a huge innovation. It's only the third that exists in the world. There is one in the US, there is one in Spain, and Indonesia will have the third. And I think it shows also that yeah, a concern or attraction about the social issue can actually lead to great ideas and to great innovation. And it's a really great uh, um, initiative also to support Indonesia in bringing innovation to solve this massive problem that we have when it comes to plastics. And on the right hand side, you see uh, the president Jokowi, who is uh, looking at the bottle and is really excited to have an innovation in Indonesia that actually can help solve a problem. Um, and when we do all of this, whether this is the plastics or the other circularities, it's crucial that we do it in a, in an, in a holistic way, in an inclusive way, if we, if we call that. And creating jobs and bringing people um, to the formal sector um, and create wealth for the people that work with us. I already mentioned about the Recycle Business Unit. Through this uh, infrastructure, we actually have 9,000 waste pickers that have become part of the formal economy and now have access to healthcare where they did not have that before. But also through our commercial operation, we work with uh, micro entrepreneurs, social micro entrepreneurs, what we call the aqua ladies. And these are actually additional incomes for households that, uh, that, that were not able to, to meet ends. And through support, uh, through working with aqua, actually have, um, have been able to, to get an additional income. The work we do with the farmers makes that they can actually sell their rice as organic rice, which creates more value for them than ordinary rice. And we also, through the operations we have, provide water access to many people in the country. It's not only for other people that we do this. And I think it's something that, uh, that, um, that CY also shared before. It's also about how you do that similarly with your own employees. And we entrust the done owners, as we call them, the people that work for us, to create the meaningful futures. Yeah, it's not the leaders, it's not the management that actually provide this. It's our role to empower people. It's the done owners that then create these meaningful futures that make an impact on, every, on, on everybody's life. So we do that through health, yeah, by providing uh, health education, but also health products to our employees. Uh, Danone has globally implemented six month maternity leave, paid maternity leave for all our employees, including uh, for the dads. So that's uh, pretty incredible. We also support inclusive diversity. We are a partner of He for She program, but diversity is not only about gender, it's uh, about many other things as we know. And we've provided, or we will in 2019, give all our employees, and around the world is more than 100,000 Danone owners, shares. So it, we want all our employees to become shareholders of Danone and through their voice and through their day-to-day -day, uh, support actually create the meaningful future of Danone and, sh and uh, sharpen the 2030 goals for every company in every country. So B Corp, we became a B Corp early last year. And as I discussed yesterday when we had a B Corp, for us actually it wasn't any effort. Yeah, we just had to, had to do the audit because we were already doing it. But it was great to have an independent um, accreditation, an independent view that was actually supporting that what we were doing is right. And that is the direction that we're going is even better. And what B Corp also is be very helpful, it's not about the score, but it's about understanding where you're really strong as a company, but also where there's still opportunities to improve and do even better. So for us, it has become a compass in terms of how we steer our company. The what is very clear, but the how is where B Corp can actually give you a direction. And this is hugely appreciated by employees or future employees. We were talking about it earlier too. Nowadays, people are looking for something more than just to get the money. 
Yeah, they're looking for somewhere to work where they can find a purpose, where they make a difference and where they make an impact. And this is where B Corp can give an assurance that joining these companies, actually you make a difference and you join a business that is a force for good. The world nowadays is not a really great place to live. There's challenges everywhere. And this is definitely the case for Indonesia. There's challenges when it comes to our environment. There's challenges when it comes to politics. There's challenges everywhere. We can be depressed about that. We can, we can ignore them or put our head in the sand. Or we can decide as corporates that we can actually drive and make a difference and make a change for a positive and a better world. So we believe at Aqua that we need to change for our future, for a better Indonesia, for a better world, for a better planet. Thank you very much. So thank you very much for the free, very inspiring sharing. So uh, maybe it's time to have a panel discussion. But before the panel discussion, we would like to uh, present some souvenir for our speakers in order to show our heartfelt friends to them. Yeah. So, <laughs> so first of all, maybe lady first. <laughs> Next one, CY. Okay, let's check. No, CY. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. So, very interesting. <laughs> So, because the time is running short, okay, maybe uh, being the facilitator, maybe I take the privilege to ask the first question. So, um, basically, we can see that. We can see three change makers on the, on, on the stage. Okay, because yesterday, uh, one of our speakers, uh, Mark Zhang, which is the, one, uh, the, the managing director of the soccer. So, they are saying that nowadays, maybe later on, we are not talking about social enterprise. We are talking about social innovation. In order to deliver the social innovation, we need to have a lot of the change makers. We can see that. We can see a lot of change in this free renowned company. So, but I would like to know who triggered the change? Who triggered the change? And what is the biggest difficulty in bringing this change in your company? So can each of you can share with us. Okay, thank you. Maybe Teddy first. Okay, um, thank you for all this quick question here. Uh, who triggers this? Uh, of course, I mean people. So who in a company triggers it? Well, it's a difficult question to ask, right? To could answer. Everybody actually want, have a want for it. Yeah. All employees, I mean society people, they want it. Whether the management can hear this voice, it's actually, that is the trigger point here. Of course, the champion is my boss. Of course. He must be driving that. I mean, if he's not driving that, I mean, the company is not moving that way. But actually, the trigger point should be from society, from the whole world. And we just respond. It's a shame me that we respond. You're not leading. But yet, I think we move a little faster than most of the competitors or our peers in industry. So that makes it a little different here. We want to chase, we want to get faster and faster to be more driving innovation in so it's innovation in, I mean, sustainability here. So you can see our, I mean, we have a lot of stories to tell, but I'll just share with you a little bit only today. If you have, I mean, more interest, I can show you around in our new work activities so that you can understand we believe in it. We commit to it. We're doing it. We want to be advocate of it. So in that case. So regarding the problem, well, first of all, it's about the system we have. Doing sustainability, actually, it costs. In most of the way, we have to quantify it. The systems are not ready in the, in the past to do the quantification and see how we are doing. So we have to upgrade our system, our measurement, our PMS system, and the cascade all these things to all people to understand what we are doing, where we are heading towards, and that measurement actually costs our management time and administration. And that's the difficulty we are facing. Yep. But it's worth, right? It's <laughs> worth. It's okay. a must. Yeah, okay. 
How about CY? Basically, the same question, same question, same answer for 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 my team. But you you can share in different yeah, perspective. Yeah. Well, obviously, uh, when you say trigger, uh, there are a lot of environmental things that the community thinks that is triggering the things. But when you say the trigger action is by people for sure. I think going back when when we discussed the core purpose five six years ago, before that actually the core purpose of the company is to be the number one in telco. But when we sit down because of the change of ownership in 2012, uh, the management sit, we sit down together and think about what do, where do we want to go? What do, you want to, what do we want to do? And then we think about what we have done in the past. And actually, we're helping Hong Kong. So we want to, we want to like, make a Hong Kong a better place to live to be our core purpose in the coming future. So it, then it, it uh, evolved. Uh, we, in 2012, we don't have a plan of doing what I've just shared uh, uh, just now. But we, it evolved and it became the guideline. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but I think in the, in the society, there are a lot of triggers. Yes. But for us, I think the belief is that uh, there are people who are more sensitive to what's happening in the world. So they could become the trigger. But there are some who are not. So I think as a company, as an organization, what you need to do is, be, uh, apart from triggering, you need to educate people and involve them to be part of this movement yeah. or part of this uh, innovation. So, uh, so uh, I think similar to what Teddy has just shared, uh, just uh, happening, happened two months ago. Yeah. We have added in our leadership attributes within the company, the requirement for our leaders in the company on top of empowerment and leading disruption, we have added purposeful leadership. So in the coming year, you need to demonstrate what have you done to help make our Hong Kong a better place to live in your appraisal. So it, it is deciding, it is hard, but I, uh, the key is we need to educate and kind of like push and pull people yes. to become part of this movement. Yeah. yeah, It's a process, okay? Okay. So how about Mrs. Kareem? So we, um, I mean, if you join Danone, yeah. you need to be convinced. Oh. Yeah, because otherwise there is no point in joining that yeah. company. We are a company of, uh, of believers, yeah, believers that it's possible to have a profitable and strong business as well as looking after the planet and looking after the health of people. That's what we truly believe in. Yeah. And so everybody joining our company has that. And there is a global framework, but in the end of the day, it, is, it comes to the local leaders yeah. to fill that in, in a local context. And uh, when I joined uh, Aqua two years ago, I realized that this is probably one of the best businesses that our company has when it comes to putting sustainability at the center of what we do. But the challenge was that nobody knew about it out of our company. Nobody knew about it. And um, it's difficult if nobody knows about it to, to actually um, inspire others to do so too, um, to convince consumers that there is a choice. So that's when we started to say, look, in the end of the day, it's not about being perfect. It's about sharing what we do and where we're heading and why we want to do that. And that's the role the leader plays, in my view, to create that very clear uh, ambition and to empower people to, to go there. And um, it actually um, helped us enormously. The focus has been in the beginning very much on, uh, on, on sharing our story with stakeholders, with government and NGOs, and moving now more towards the consumer space, which I think is personally more interesting. Because in the end of the day, I believe that consumers vote yeah, through their purchases for the world they want to live in. Yeah, the concerns about the health of the planet, the health of people is growing, but a lot of people don't know how they can contribute. So by providing transparency and openness to consumers for them to make a choice and through that choice actually have an impact on, on what world to live in, I think that is what, uh, what we're trying to do. Um, I think the challenging part, because you asked about that too, is that the moment you provide this openness and transparency, you have to, you need to have a constant dialogue. Yeah, and you meet also with a lot of cynics and a lot of people that don't believe in that. But that's fine too. Yeah? It's, uh, it's not about being afraid of that. It's not about moving away from that. It's about continuing the dialogue and actually taking in different pieces of feedback from different angles to actually strengthen and sharpen your story and the actions that you, that you, that you do and the impact you have every day. So uh, we can see that to conclude uh, all the uh, sharing is that, so people check out the change. So actually this is quite cool, uh, okay, uh, align with the theme of our social enterprise summit, innovating for a happier society. We would like to do more things for our people to make them happier. So uh, maybe I leave the time to the, uh, the floor. So uh, any question from the floor?
Because today we learn some new term, koong la, maybe, yeah. Yeah. We keep it to the mic? Yeah. Thank you. Maybe I have a first. Uh, I have a question for Corinne because uh, uh, I'm so thrilled to to hear about uh, uh, there's an innovational way to uh, recycle uh, the plastic bottle, but uh, but to me because the recycling process still uh, maybe have some carbon footprints, then then I, what I guess is uh, is a better way to to uh, try to reuse or even reduce. So then, uh, say for example, if you uh, walk uh, to the foyer of the, of the CEC, there is a water dispensing machine. It's a local way to, um, to let people to, to bring their own bottles and then to, to get the refill of water. So uh, maybe I would like to know whether Denon will, will have something or Aqua will do something on, on this way. Yunkongs 即係譬如新世界佢有個edge,譬如佢真係地產嘅,即係譬如我而家講蘇蘇歐城咁,其實我哋機構都都搞啲蘇蘇歐城嘅嘢,咁其實都可以有好多嘢可以去去kick到點
than what we produce. There is a huge economy in Indonesia for plastics. Plastic has a very high value, at least some specific plastics. So all the plastics we use, and that's part of the uh, last uh, pillar, the third pillar, is we say by 2025, all of the material we use needs to be recyclable or compostable. And not only needs to be recyclable, needs to be recycled. And, uh, and this is where we are already catching up and there's only a few things left that we still need to do. Mm -hmm. And this is where innovation comes. So how do we then make sure that the materials that we use or innovate are actually making the product 100% recyclable and recycled. Yeah, okay. So the recycling business yeah. is a self-sustainable business, Yes, yeah, right? so the business that we've built up, yeah, which we helped fund, okay. kicked off the re recycle business units, they are independent, profitable yeah. business profitable units. Profitable business. There yeah. is a business unit, and if you're ever in Jakarta, I'm happy to show you. It's in the south of Jakarta. It's run by six ladies. Six ladies that used to be scavengers, okay. waste pickers. Wow. They are now sitting on so much cash that they're going to open up another recycle business wow. unit. Very good. So this is really incredible. So it is about making sure there is an economical model, and that's all behind circular economy. You need to create an economy for things to become circular, but it needs to become circular by design in order to create this economy. Yeah. Do you think that we can send some uh, people to study yes. from Indonesia? Really? Yes. Okay. We, we On behalf actually, of the Hong Kong government, I would like from to say thank Union you. Thank you very much. 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 So it's, it's really interesting. Yeah. Okay. So uh, regarding the HR issue, CY and uh, uh, Teddy, could you share with us? Up to you. Up to you. Up to you. Up to you. Uh, first, I want to say that I'm not a HR colleague. My job is to do corporate change and internal audit and governance. I'm an accountant by training. Okay. But in my job, I want to say that I'm a teacher. 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 你將來冇發展嘅，你唔好嚟新世界啦，因為新世界係發展無限公司嚟嘅。我希望大家就話嚟到新世界個發展嘅話咧，我工作就係培訓，培訓裏面就令到人個腦袋開開竅，可以同翻世界接軌，同翻新世界接軌。過程裏面，我哋有一個六十年嘅 training model， 由佢五歲至六十五歲。點解咁講呢？由我哋員工開始嘅細路仔，五歲開始，幼兒園啊、中啊一年級開始我哋有好多 s u b s i d i e s 俾佢哋。Make sure 每個員工如果佢細路仔需要嘅讀書裏面嘅 s u b s i d i e s 嘅話，我哋會俾佢嘅。去到中學，我哋繼續俾佢啦，大學都俾佢。去到大學嚟講咧，我哋譬如同香港 U 啦，同嚟緊將會 C U 啦，會有啲好多 collaboration。舉例子，喺新世界同香港 U 有六年就做咗一個叫 Business Elite Student Program， 係咩嘅呢？我哋每年一個 second semester 十二堂免費去俾啲學生去感受到新世界真係做有 business， 唔係講 theory。I practice. He comes to we visit our area, and we check the data, look, look, see, ask him questions, then be case for him. And then, if he does well, he has an internship and a management training program. Then, after that, management training, middle management, so up to management, senior management, all those training program. So, from from age five to sixty-five, we have a lot of training program. This process, he himself, from his own birth, from the outside world, from the social relationship, we hope that he will grow to his growth, to his growth, is a process that will support his life and development. I believe this is an example. So, from the training program. 只係講，除咗話俾個 training 之外咧，我哋好多 subsidies 啊，有有嗰啲 MBA programs 啊，即係 subsidies 啊，做好多啲工作。因為好同小孩一樣，其實佢哋如果唔去發展自己，唔去去學 quite learn 去去 better off 自己嘅話咧，幫唔到好多。所以其實 start from 自己，我想做咩咧？我身上係比較平台嘅跳舞啫嘛。我哋俾好多支援嘅跳舞，但係過程裏邊，如果佢要自己要生存到、發展到、同新世界嘅個理念 align 嘅話咧，我得到我哋好處，佢得得佢更多嘅好處。所以我自己如果你問新世界做幾耐咧，我係唔喺度做嘢嘅。我生活咗廿六年啦，係廿六年。OK， thank you。CY， 我好快。誒、uh, ，義工教我哋都有，但係我哋原本由 week 啊、uh, weekend 做義工到，其實應該咁講 ，weekday 做義工先有義工教，去到 weekend 做義工，我哋翻去都可以俾俾翻個價你。其實我哋想鼓勵啲同事，但我諗誒，其實個重點唔係有冇呢啲機制，而係其實個 leader， 譬如一個 department head， 一個 session head。其實佢有冇鼓勵佢啲同事去做？有陣時我星期一至五想請個義工假去,去,去做義工，我問我老細：你搞唔曬你啲嘢啦？如果我我都答唔到佢，我冇點去做義工呢？」但係調翻轉就係、是，其實我哋當然我哋公司亦都有一啲，譬如用義做義工嚟做 team building。咁啲老啲啲老闆們會覺得，誒、欸、咁可以用用咁嘅模式去做。頭先我提過就係，我哋要鼓勵啲 leader 自己做義工，咁佢啲同事咪夠膽做義工囉。有陣時唔係有冇呢一樣嘢，有陣時一個文化同埋我哋成日講老闆，即、就、係、是、top management。其實我哋都好想所有同事做義工，同事自己都想做義工，但係中間我哋。
，始终系一间公司嘅嘢，有压力噶嘛。嗰、那個文化喺唔喺度？你有冇鼓勵到佢？我諗呢樣嘢，你問我係緊要過究竟有冇嗰啲機制嘅？咁我我唔敢講我哋做得好好，但我哋慢慢即鼓勵，同埋頭先我提過就係、是、當你喺誒 leader 嘅 appraisal 入面講我哋點樣 make Hong Kong better place to live 嘅時候咧，我諗佢哋都會諗誒、哎，我其實都可以鼓勵多啲同事去做義工，即我諗我會咁樣去答呢個問題咯。係啦 ，OK， thank you。So because time is running short， maybe I would like to have just one more question。Especially to the Liu. Okay, thank you. The mic, please. Thank you. Uh, excuse me, uh, Connie. I think I was speaking uh, Cantonese. Okay. OK， 嚇誒，咁我係誒 I Enterprise 嗰邊嘅大同企業，咁好多好多頭先師傅幫我哋賣咗一陣間廣告咁樣，係啦。咁誒，不過我想誒 share 翻少少誒，即係社企同商業機構中間大家嗰個合作啦嚇。咁我好同意誒頭先誒左三位講者講嘅嗰樣嘢，就話其實我相信作為一個管理層咧，其實你有心嘅話咧，件事你就讀得到出嚟㗎啦嚇。咁譬如頭先啊。啊，師或者啊 ，Teddy 即三位都有 share 嗰啲 case 嚇。咁我想 share 翻少少我哋同譬如 Hong Kong Bank Bank 嗰個合作嘅關係啦嚇。咁其實譬如話其中一樣嘢，我哋去度嘅就係話，其實我哋有誒都唔少嘅同事咧，其實佢哋都係翻半日工嘅啫。咁其實點解咧？咁其實就係因為好多時佢哋可能個身體嗰個 physical 未必可以 support 到全日咁樣。咁所以我哋 that's why 我哋行政上其實我哋都用好多誒時間咧去編嗰啲誒 browser 嗰啲嘢嘅嚇。咁就希望可以誒佢哋可以去回歸翻去。可以投入翻個社會啦，行咗呢一步先。咁而另外對我哋嚟講，當然亦都可以係誒，即係比較 cost effective 啲去揾個 operation 啦嚇。咁而誒第二樣嘢就話，其實誒有啲啊 mobility 嘅問題，佢哋未必可以翻到我哋嘅 call centre 做嘢嘅嚇。咁即係我哋有 offsite 嘅 service 嘅，咁因為佢又可以喺屋企去做，咁變咗就誒，即係我哋會去即係。諗多少少啦嚇，咁另外一樣嘢，我想講創新兩個字啦嚇。咁誒，我想講翻就係話，因為其實社企好多時候咧，我哋未必有能力去做一啲好 breakthrough 嘅 technology 啊嚇。咁但係我相信，即係 even 以我哋咁少嘅 operation 做例子咧，其實我哋有能力咧去誒幫一啲誒企業咧去行關鍵嘅一步嘅，即係當一啲 technology 已經喺度嘅時候。譬如好似我最近誒睇過誒電視一個訪問咧，係講緊一個誒。搭巴士嘅，講緊搭巴士嚇，咁因為其實 with 而家嗰個誒手機嗰啲 GPS 咧，其實嗰啲殘障人士佢去到巴士站佢冇問題嘅，佢揾到。咁但係我企咗喺度嘅時候，我想搭六號巴士咧，就大件事啦，你要問人啦嚇。咁但係其實咧誒 technology 已經喺度好多年㗎啦嚇，其實只係喺喺需要巴士站嗰度，你做少少嘢咧，其實有得㗎啦嚇。咁佢而佢另外一個 case 就係講緊話去 shopping centre， OK， 譬如話我可以用 GPS， 我揾到 K 十一， OK。死啦！個門口喺邊咧？或者譬如我想去去某間鋪頭，間鋪頭喺邊咧？<笑>就係呢個我所講嘅關鍵一步咧，就係爭嗰啲咁多嚇。咁但係阿堅其實 technology 咧，又係其實已經喺度好多年㗎啦嚇。咁其實呢啲都係我哋覺得誒，既然我哋唔可以做一啲好偉大嘅創新，但係我覺得我哋都可以有能力就去做最撈尾好關鍵嗰一步咯嚇。咁點解真係誒？因為其實講到最後誒，我諗我哋誒，我、呃、哋會唔會有啲嘅問題點係即係亦都想希望今日？即係有幾位專家或者叫過來人啦，即係講都唔好講專家。過來人嘅時候同你分享。其實誒、嗯，我想睇翻就係、是、因為其實我哋誒去有時去譬如誒、嗯、去 approach 一啲 commercial organisation 嘅時候咧，我哋有時會遇到一個問題嘅，就係、是、話誒可能佢第一件事就會問你啦。誒、呃，你計條數俾我睇啊，咁樣樣係啦，即係 financial return 嚇，有啲咩 revenue 可以 bring 到俾我哋咁樣樣嚇。咁我想問，即係如果譬如做一啲 top management 嘅話咧，如果我遇到條咁嘅問題，我應該點樣去？咁我諗呢個問題啊 ，Teddy 打啱啲啊，因為本身 CY 同你哋都好 close 啦，咁所以咧 ，Teddy 如果真係有個社企，有個好 great idea， 好 innovative idea， 通常你哋點樣去即係、就是、應對佢哋咧？嗱，咁啊，真係善事咧唔怕多做，但係做咧好多真係講真句，公司都係公司，都係有一個方向性個 purpose。咁呢個我哋同我哋公司個理念要 align 先，唔好介意。如果即係我所有同仁都要幫，所有事都要幫嘅話，諗我公司變咗一個政府，變咗一個係誒真係 charity。咁唔好介意，呢個係必然發生。我哋有自己嘅工作嘅方向性。如果公司個個方向性同嗰個社企嘅工作係一致嘅話咧，我哋好好 more than happy 去做呢件事。或者我哋嘅需要同你哋嘅存在嗰、那個嗰、那個價值觀好 align 嘅話，我哋好相信係做做到發得生到。係咪揾錢去量度？唔係嘅，其實我哋頭先講嗰個高管，我哋唔係揾錢量度，我哋捐捐錢。我哋講例子，譬如依份青光大道，我哋重我哋重建佢咧，我哋俾好多錢落去咧，俾人哋打冧咗，唔俾我哋重建。即係變咗，我哋把錢落去都唔想俾我做，咁即係真係其實唔係話錢嘅問題，係你嘅 purpose， 係你嘅 alignment， 係你嘅原因。咁所以我相信呢件事唔係咁簡單，仲話我哋邊度數我咁簡單，係你做一件事對個效益
，對自己本身嗰個嘅誒死機啦，對 corporate 立場嚟講，我哋都要有效益噶嘛，咪我唔可以完全放甩得，放甩得成。所以我相信嘅效益 alignment 係重要。如果你揾到佢個痛點同埋自己嘅痛點 ，align 到嘅話，呢、這個就必然發生嘅事。相反嚟講，我哋為咗自己目的，但你唔該你俾錢啦。嗱 ，sorry， 唔好介意，我哋唔係咁睇件事嘅。所以如果個 alignment 做唔到咧，個起點係有問題。做得拉文咧，錢只係其次。最點話，因為新世界做咁多嘢，有時好多嘢唔係為錢嘅話。舉例子，青年廣場喺呢個柴灣，我哋 run 嘅，知唔知？我哋每人燒咗千幾萬去 run 呢件事，係為政府而做嘅。做完之後就俾人鬧，為咩咧？咪可以唔做嘅喎，我哋管理啫嘛。但係每年輸千幾萬，幫佢管理住俾人鬧，為咩咧？我想個 youth development 做一件事，青年個嗰個就業嘅青年個個長大。我哋做咁多嘢都為咗社會嘅話，咁當然啦。咁我哋換嚟嘅就係一個 branding 咯，一個認同咯。咁希望如果大家認同嘅話，咁新世界都唔係一個一個好好壞嘅新世界咯。如果係好嘅話，咁就係個好嘅新世界。咁嚟緊我哋在座啊 Lilian 啦，我哋嘅六向四支參商場會，我哋做嘅工作，希望令到佢立場喺佢相見同事同我哋立場嘅公司同事有咩分別咧？希望佢培訓我哋嘅同事，同事界嚟講，希望令到佢哋立場一個眼光，去到原來喺商場人士嘅世界咁樣嘅話，我作為一個 builder， 我喺個環境裏邊點 build for。every party 佢熟悉嘅地方、熟悉嘅地方咧，呢個希望喺社會裏邊感受到你嘅存在價值，誒，你將件事擺翻我哋嘅生活裏邊，誒，你變翻出嚟，我哋有嘅資源、有嘅能力、有嘅一個 connection， 但係我哋需要多嘅你哋嘅參與。所以今日嚟，希望大家如果需要嘅話，我幫一定 happy 同你再溝通，我點樣幫到個世球做啲咁多？呢、這個唔係為自己，唔係為新世界，係為大家全個社嘅世、整個地球啦。咁所以我即係、就是、international shot 係個 alignment 問題。Okay, thank you very much. Okay, to conclude this section is that. We can see that a lot of the、uh, enterprise or even the organisation is trying to put purpose into their core business strategies. But one more very important takeaway: organisation, business organisation, still need to okay、uh, accountable for their shareholder. They still need to make profit to sustain the business. But right now, we have a change. We will in,、uh, incorporate some of the innovation to lower down our costs, so as to develop that、uh, develop that、uh, deliver more value to our. People, but more importantly, we need to leverage our core competence. Okay, instead of just doing something not related to the company, because in doing so, we can create greater value both to the company stakeholders as well as the、uh, general public and our planet. Okay, thank you very much. May I ask all the audience to give a round of applause to our speakers? Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, thank you. So, because Teddy is、uh, a bit tight schedule, so he will left. Okay,、uh, but Cy and also Corinne, maybe on the floor, you can still 